Hey guys, welcome back to Doctor Who. This is season two, episode two. We're really excited to get stuck into this one. I think we'll just jump right in. I hope you enjoy. You got everything. I've got everything. Don't worry. Be careful. Aww. And you'll have to call Mo about that. <laughs> okay, I'm going now. I love you. Love you. Bye. That was just a kiss as friends, right? <laughs> Oh, it would never get easier. So where are we going? Further than we've ever gone before. <sighs> that just makes me feel really bad for beautiful Jackie and Mickey to just have to say goodbye to her and not even having a clue when or if she will return. New Earth. It's the year five billion and twenty-three. Whoa. This is New Earth. Oh. It's just... Whoa. It's just... Not bad. Not bad at all. That's amazing. What's that smell? Apple grass. Apple grass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I just say, travelling with you, I love it. Oh. Me too. Come on. Aww. Oh. Human. She's pure blood human. Oh. They Closer. want her. Closer. Oh my gosh. We've seen them before. Those little things. As soon as the earth burns up, oh, they get all nostalgic. They find this place. Same size of the earth, same air, same orbit, lovely. What's the city called? New New York. Oh, come on. <laughs> it is. Strictly speaking, it's the 15th New York since the original. <laughs> oh, okay. It makes it new, 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 I thought we might go there first. Why? What is it? Some sort of hospital. I got this. Message on the psychic paper. Oh. Someone wants to see me. Oh, nice. Mm. Come on, then. Let's go and buy some grapes. <laughs> oh, damn, and they don't see it. <gasps> I knew it. That dirty blonde assassin. She's coming here, mistress. This is beyond coincidence. This is destiny. Oh. At last, I can be revenged on that little... Bit rich. Come oh. I can't help it. I don't like hospitals. They give me the creeps. Not exactly NHS. No shop. I like the little shop. Oh. Oh, so beautiful. It's like a cat. They're cats. They are cats. Don't stare. I think what you look like to them, all pink and yellow. <laughs> what, 26, thanks. Override controls. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, too late. I'm going up. Alright, there's another lift. Port 26. Oh, no. And watch out for the disinfectant. What? That's it. Oh, you'll find it. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to take her somewhere else. Ward 26. Thanks. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh. Recommend stage one disinfection. <laughs> oh, you're having a shower in it. <laughs> He looks as perfect as ever. His hair is just so styled nicely. The human child is clean. This way, Rose Tyler. Yes, good idea, clever girl. It kind of looks a bit dodgy walking around there with a weapon. Nice place. No shop downstairs. I'd have a shop. Not a big one, just a shop. <laughs> so people can shop. Excuse me. That's petrifol regression, right? I'm dying, sir. A lifetime of charity and abstinence. Wow. And it ends like this. I'm so weak. Sister Jet, a little privacy, please. They'll be up and about in no time. I doubt it. Petrifold regression, he's turning to stone. There won't be a cure for a thousand years. Have faith in the sisterhood. It's rather unusual to visit without knowing the patient. I think I found him. Oh, face of bone. Love his hair. Right? Oh, I think my friend got lost. Uh, Rose Tyler. Certainly, sir. Are the cat people to be trusted? Their eyes are a bit shifty. Are you a friend? Or... Uh, we met just the once on platform one. I'm so sorry. I thought you knew. The face of Bo is dying. Of what? Old age. He's thousands of years old. Some people say millions. I look a bit different, but it's me. It's the doctor. <sighs> oh, that moment in the music is so beautiful. He's just so gentle and caring. Look at me. And you never know what your life is going to be like. Don't 
but wait a minute, that's <gasps> peekaboo. Oh, that's her. Oh, come anyway, oh. me, Cassandra. What do you think I'm going to do? Flap you to death? What about Gollum? Oh, that's just Chip. I worship the mistress. <laughs> Moisturize me. <laughs> He's a force-grown clone. Oh. Chip sees to my physical means. I hope that means food. <laughs> How come you're still alive? After you murdered me. That was your own fault. The brain of my mistress survived. I saw it. <laughs> you got ripped apart. Oh, that piece of skin was taken from the front. This piece is the back. Right, so you're talking out your... Ask <laughs> not. The mistress was lucky to survive. Chip secreted my lady into the hospital. <laughs> so they don't know you're in. Chip steals medicine, helps my lady, soothes her. Ew. The last human in existence. Don't start that again, Mary. Drinks for the ambassador of Thrace. That was the last time anyone told me I was beautiful. Oh, well, you got a knack for survival, I'll give you that. Underneath this hospital, I've been listening. The sisters are hiding something. These cats have secrets. Let me whisper, come close. No I'm just way. I'm joking if you think I'm coming anywhere near you. Oh, well, no the choice. But yeah, I did wonder if those cats were sneaky. Goodbye, trampoline, and hello, Blondie. Oh no! She's gonna transfer into Rose? No. <laughs> no, no. Mistress. No. Moisturize me. No, no. Oh. Where's Rose? <sighs> him singing sometimes in my mind such ancient songs legend says that the face of Bo has watched the universe grow old there's all sorts of superstitions around him one story says that just before his death the face of Bo will impart his great secret that he will speak those words only to one like himself what does that mean it's just a story tell me the rest mm. it's said he'll talk to a wanderer to the man without a home the doctor the lonely god <gasps> Him. Oh. I I like him. I'm I'm really drawn to the face of Bo. I think he's I think he's lovely. It's like living inside a bouncy castle. <laughs> oh, the brain meat expired. My old mistress is gone. It's safe and sound in here. But what of the rose child's mind? Mm. Uh, tucked away. She's with the doctor. Yeah. She is. Man, the same with a new face. That hypocrite! Let's <laughs> get the name of his son. <laughs> hypocrite! He do with a little work. Nice rear bumper. <laughs> oh, seems to be ringing. <laughs> Is it meant to ring? Rose, where are you? How does she speak? <laughs> Old Earth Cockney. Watch ya. Where have you been? How long does it take to get to Ward 26? I'm on my way, Governor. <laughs> I shall proceed <laughs> up the apples and pears. I'll never guess. I'll be the face of Bo. Remember him? I better go. See you in a minute. <laughs> it's that man again. You had petrified regression, right? That being the operative wounded. <laughs> Completely cured. Primitive species would accuse us of magic. They are doing something. What's in that solution? A simple remedy. Then tell me what it is. <laughs> patient confidentiality. I don't believe we've met. My name is Matron Casp. I'm the doctor. I think you'll find that we're the doctors here. Oh, why did they have to make cat people bad? It's this one. Look at its eyes. You're alive. Positively sparkling. Where am I? And speech. Help me. And what should we do with the patient? Standard procedure. Incinerate. Incinerate. Oh, oh the cats are bad. They were so cute too. There you are. Come and look at this patient. Marconi's disease. Should take years to recover. Two days. Their medical science is way advanced. And this one. Paladome pancrosis. Kills you in ten minutes and he's fine. I can't Adam and Eve it. What's with the voice? Oh, I don't know. Just larking about <laughs> new earth. You, me. Well, I can talk. New, new doctor. Mm, aren't you just? <laughs> wow. <sighs> Okay. Terminals this way. Yeah. <laughs> Still got it. Surgery. When is it going to get sus? When I was downstairs, those nurse cat nuns were talking about intensive care. Where is it? You're right. Well done. Why would they hide a whole department such a subframe? What if the subframe's locked? 
Try the installation protocol. Yeah, of course. How does Rose know that, you know? Surely he's gonna have thoughts soon. Intensive care. Oh dear. Oh. It looks kind of like snake eyes or cat's eyes, you know? That's disgusting. What's wrong with him? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What are they doing with those people? There's going to be sick people in every single chamber. What disease is that? All of them. Oh. Every single disease in the galaxy, oh. they've been infected with everything. What about us? Are we safe? Yes, they're all. Just don't touch them. Are they harvesting their blood and using that to, uh, to cure the patients? There? They're not patients. But they're sick. They were born sick. They're meant to be sick. Mm. They exist to be sick. Yes. Lab rats. No wonder the sisters have got a cure for everything. They've built the ultimate research laboratory. A human farm. Why don't they just die? Plague carriers. Last to go. It's for the greater cause. When you took your vows, did you agree to this? Sisterhood has sworn to help. What, by killing? They're not real people. They're specially grown. A thousand a day. A thousand the next. Mankind needed us. We tried everything. We tried using clone meat and bio cattle, but the results were too slow. So the sisterhood grew its own flesh. These people are alive. Think of those humans out there, healthy and happy because of us. If they live because of this, then life is worthless. Who are you to decide that? I'm the doctor. If you want to take it to a higher authority, there isn't one. It stops with me. I can understand the bodies. I can understand your vows. One thing I can't understand, what have you done to Rose? I don't know what you mean. And I'm being very, very calm. <laughs> and the only reason I'm being so very, very calm is that the brain is a delicate thing. Whatever you've done to Rose's head, I want it reversed. Wow. I haven't done anything. <laughs> These people are dying, and Rose would care. All right, clever girl. Finally. Smart, Banks. <laughs> Lady killer. What's happened to you? <laughs> Who are you? The last year. Mm. Cassandra. Wake up and smell the perfume. Oh. oh! I'll have to fetch Matron. You do that, because I want to see her. Sound the alarm! I don't like evil words. Have a go. We heard the alarm. Now get back to work. Let me out! Let me out! Aren't you lucky there was a spare? <gasps> Standing room only. Over the years, I've thought of a thousand ways to kill you, Doctor. And now that's exactly what I've got. One thousand diseases. They pump the patients with a top up every ten minutes. You've got around three minutes left. <sighs> Just let Rose go, Cassandra. As soon as I find someone younger and less common, <gasps> then I'll junk her with the waste. Now hush her by. Anything we can do to help? Straight to the point, Whiskers. I want money. The Sisterhood <laughs> is a charity. We don't give money. In return for which, I will tell the city nothing of your institutional murder. Is that a deal? I have to decline. I'll tell them. And you've no way of stopping me. You're not even up. Who needs arms? We have claws. claws. <laughs> yes. Mm, well, nice try. <laughs> Chip, plan B. Oh. The people will take revenge. A shot of adrenaline just to wake him up. What oh, wow. Doctors? We understood what you did to us as part of the machine. We know the machine. Let's face it, it's actually constructing an argument. And we will end it. That's done all of them? Oh my god. All of those cells are opening. By the goddess Santori. The flesh is free. No. <laughs> Instant. Instantly. Oh well. God, what the hell have you done? It wasn't me. <laughs> One touch and you get every disease in the world, and I want that body safe, Cassandra. <laughs> it then the the people aren't just after the the cat doctors; they're after everybody. A no exit. Oh. Everyone will die. Oh no. Oh. That's sad. Just instant. Instant death. Now the lift is closed down. That's the quarantine. Get 
Marty, nothing's moving. Someone's not touching. Hey, you think he's only got a half life? Come on! Mistress! I'm sorry, I can't have a escape! My mistress! Oh! Will he be okay? He's gone in the waste tube. Where does that go? What are we going to do? You're going to leave that body. That psychograph is banned on every civilized planet. Compressing Rose to death. But I've got nowhere to go. My original skin's dead. Not my problem. Mm -hmm. You can float as atoms in the air. Now get out. <gasps> Give her back to me. You asked for it. Oh. Oh no. She's in him. <gasps> Where'd she go? Oh my. This is. <laughs> Goodness me, oh. I'm a man. Oh no. Oh, so many parts. <laughs> oh, oh, two hearts. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm beating out a samba. Get out of him. <laughs> oh, he's slim and a little bit foxy. You thought so too. I've been inside your head. You've been looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. The doctor, what the hell did he do? We've got to get up. Out of the way, Blondie. <laughs> come on, come on, Rose. Does she have that, um, the screwdriver thingy? She can fix this. Come on, Rose. I kind of feel sorry for that guy. Oh. If you get out of the doctor's body, he can think of something. Let him die. Play with a ball of string. <laughs> Everywhere. Disease. Sickness. <sighs> wow. Oh. What a way to go. Now what do we do? Use the sonic screwdriver. I mean this thing. Yes, I mean that thing. <laughs> go back into me. The doctor can open it. Hold on tight. You better hold on tight to the screwdriver. Oh, chav task. <laughs> Until you get out of her. We need the doctor. I order you to leave her. Oh, it's just gonna go back and forth. No how difficult the situation, there is no need to shout. <laughs> Sandra, get out of him. But if I go into you, he simply refuses. He's so rude. I don't care. <laughs> just do something. Oh, I'm so gonna regret this. Oh no. Oh, sweet lord. I look disgusting. <laughs> Back. No, you don't. Close it. Oh. That is your last warning, Cassandra. Inside her head, they're so alone. They keep reaching out just to hold her all their lives. And they've never been touched. Yes, those people. Skin. Look clean. Look. But I've been trying to override the quarantine. I'm not dying in here. We can't let a single particle of disease get out. There is 10 million people in that mm. city. They'd all be at risk. Now turn that off. Not if it gets me out. Right, Selfish. Right. So I have to stop you lot as well. Get me the intravenous solutions for every single disease. Move it. Oh. Is he going to go and fix everyone? What? That, will I do? That's not possible. What did you for what? He can't do that. Here we go. Why? Are going you serious? To... Whoa! Oh, that's amazing. I need another pair of hands. What do you think? You're so desperate to stay alive. Why don't you live a little? It's uh -huh. amazing. Oh. You're completely mad. I can see why she likes you. <laughs> Going down. Wow. No, no way would I ever do that. When I say so, take hold of that lever. There's still a quarantine down there. We can't hold that lever. What's this plan? I thought he was going to inject every single person. It it must be. I don't know how he's going to get that into people. What about you? I've got an appointment. The doctor is in. <laughs> oh, the elevator! That elevator thing. Yes. Stage one disinfection. Yes, the disinfection. Come on. Please let that work. <laughs> All they want to do is pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Oh, so good. Did you kill them? All of them? 
No. Kill. <laughs> That's your way of doing things. Yep. <laughs> you saved them. I'm the doctor and I cured them. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> there we go, sweetheart. It's a new subspecies, Cassandra. A brand new form of life. New humans. Look at them. Look. Grown by cats. Kept in the dark. Fed by tubes. But completely, completely alive. You can't deny them because you helped create them. Life will out. Ha! All staff will present themselves to the officers for immediate arrest. All new life forms will be catalogued and taken into care. The face of Bo! Is he still alive? Yes. Hmm. You were supposed to be dying. There are better things to do today. Dying can wait. <laughs> I've grown tired with the universe, Doctor, but you have taught me to look at it anew. There are legends, you know, saying that you're millions of years old. Well, that would be impossible. I got the impression there was something you wanted to tell me. A great secret. So the legend says. It can wait. Oh, does it have to? <laughs> we shall meet again, Doctor, for the third time, for the last time. And the truth shall be told. Until that day. Until that day, it's not his day. That is enigmatic. <laughs> that, that, is, that is textbook enigmatic. So, I how do we get rid of you. Cassandra? Can't you just leave me? You've lived long enough. Leave that body and end it, Cassandra. She won't. No way. I don't want to die. No one does. Help me. I can't. Mistress, you're alive. She might I go into him. Safe for you, mistress. A body. <laughs> and not just that. Volunteer. Don't you dare. He's got a life of his own. But I welcome her. <gasps> you can't, Cassandra. You... <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Mm. Oh, sweet lord. I'm a walking doodle. I can take you to the city. They can build you a skin tank and you can stand trial for what you've done. But I'm afraid <laughs> we don't have time. Well, poor little Chip is only a half-life. His heart is racing, sir. He's failing. <gasps> I don't think he's going to last. Oh! oh! You all right? I'm dying. But that's fine. Wow. You're right, Doctor. It's time to die. That's good. I didn't think she'd agree to it so readily. There's one last thing I can do. They'll take Bye. her somewhere. But for Bodley's sake, don't do oh, that. Don't. <gasps> Back to when she was human. That's simply not true. Oh, so no. Thank you. Just go and don't look back. I can't believe he did that. And if you actually see them, you're shocked. Excuse me. Lady Cassandra. I'm sorry, I don't need anything right now. I'm fine. No, I just wanted to say, you look beautiful. Well, that's very kind, you strange little thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean it. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my Lord. What is it? What's wrong? Someone get some help. Call a medic or something. Quickly. He, he just came up to me. I don't even know his name. I think he's dying. It's all right. There you are. There you are. I right never thought that <laughs> Cassandra would make me cry. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a that's a first time for everything. I just really loved that ending. I was so moved by it. It just makes me feel so sad. Even after all of the things that she's done, the doctor still had such care and compassion to do that that just I don't know why that has moved me as much as it did it's just one of those things but I just am so emotional about such an act of kindness shown to Cassandra shown to someone that is not a kind person and you could have easily have just let her die there in the hospital but that's not what the doctor does wow look this show just keeps getting better and better <laughs> really really good moments in this one the back and forth um of cassandra in 
the doctor and Rose was so, so funny. Some really wonderful comedic moments. I really liked that. It was awesome to see this, just this weird side of Rose and the doctor. And I actually really liked that Cassandra <laughs> not only kissed him as Rose, but then said that, I think she used the word foxy. She said that Rose thought he was quite foxy, which I think is really, it's cute, okay? I think it's cute. I don't know if there's romance at all, but just that little bit of flirty banter is so adorable and just makes me so happy. I'm sad about the cat people. I mean, I love cats. I'm a cat girl. But I have to say that if you're going to pick a sneaky sort of animal, you know, a cat's not a bad animal to be if you're going to be sneaky and sly. I do understand why the cat people were doing what they did. They want to cure people of their diseases and to help people. But in order to do that, they have wrecked so many other people's lives. They have injured and destroyed so many other people's lives which is not really acceptable they their heart was in the right place but they did the wrong thing so I don't really feel sorry at all for the cat people I have to say the face of Bo is very interesting so the doctor will meet him again for the third and final time and that will be the time that he does die of old age. Apparently he is, what, billions of years old? Because we did see him back in episode two. And I believe the doctor said it was the year two million, I think, off offhand around that time. So we saw him there and we saw those little robot things back then as well. So I really love how... Both of those connections from that party back in episode two, season one, uh, ha has been utilized again in this episode. I don't think that we will see Cassandra again, but you know what? Hang on, what? <laughs> How does, no, wait. I don't think that actually means just because Cassandra in the future has died doesn't mean current Cassandra has died or that the events that Cassandra goes through won't still continue to happen. Oh, look, this time stuff, it does my head in. I can't think about it too much. Otherwise, it really hurts. But the way that I'm thinking is that Cassandra in the future is dead, but Cassandra of past is still alive right so we may still see her again as that skin thing but then will she have memories of what happened i don't know that i i'm so confused i liked this episode it was really good some really fun moments and interestingly i'm finding that david tennant is quite a good doctor i'm really enjoying his portrayal of the Doctor. It's just as emotional as Christopher Eccleston's, though, I mean, I'll always be a fan of Chris's Doctor because, you know, I just, I, I love him. He's wonderful. But I'm also really enjoying David Tennant's role in this too. It's wonderful. And he is just the same. And it's actually surprising to me how easy it is to accept. It's so easy for me to accept that, oh yeah, this is our doctor now. Because I know that he's still the same. He's still the same inside. And he's got the same memories, same thoughts, same everything. It, it's still him. So maybe that helps. Oh, and maybe David is just quite good as well. So that also helps. Look, no complaints. Loving it. Looking forward to the next one. I hope you guys are as well. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.